Today I want to show you how you can use the stocks in your account set up a chart that will track all your stocks together like an index and we're going to show you how you can compare the performance of your stocks against something else such as the S&P 500. So to get started let me open up two charts here because we're going to do two different charts for this example so I'm going to come up here to my chart tab and break it up like that. So we're going to start with the five stocks I have selected for this example which will be Walmart, Danher, Apple, Amazon, and Google. And what you see right here is you see today's closing price. And we got the total of one share each for the closing price for today is this amount. And over here we're going to use this for the second example. I will explain that when we get to it. So, as I showed you already how to get two charts if you don't already know. But did you know you could use math operators up here where you put your symbol at? And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to start uh, creating a single index of these uh, stocks. We're going to start with Walmart. Plus we're going to add Danher. Plus uh, we're going to add Apple. Plus we're going to add Amazon. Plus, we're going to add Google. And hit enter. And now we have all of these stocks combined into one chart. Now what it is showing here is if you uh, were to have purchased one share each, this would be today's close. One share each, eight thirty nine ninety seven. Remember, that's what I totaled up. Eight thirty nine ninety seven, right here. So what it's tracking is one share each. However, your account probably has more than one share each of various stocks. And that's what the other example is for. Let's bring it back over here. In this theoretical example, we're going to use five shares of Walmart, five shares of Danher, five shares of Apple, three shares of Amazon, ten shares of Google. So that's what you had in your account. We want to get our index to look exactly like what our account looks like. So what we're going to do is we're going to go 5 times Walmart plus 5 times Danher plus 5 uh, times Apple uh, plus 3 times Amazon plus 10 times Google. And there is the uh, accurate representation of exactly what our account is. If you'll notice, the closing price for all of those stocks is $4,556.52. By the way, today is uh, December 4th, 2023. This is the today's closing price. If you notice, I totaled them up, and I'm off by two cents. Somewhere I got a couple pennies wrong. So, should be 52, probably typo. So, that is showing the value of your account by the amount of stocks of each individual stock that you actually own. That's, that's what I wanted to point out. So, over here, if you own one of each, that's what it's showing. That's what it's tracking. But this side over here is tracking exactly what you have in your account. Now, because you don't want to have to do this all the time, every time you want to check on your account, we're going to save this. Uh, we're going to we're going to save this. We're going to go back up to our chart tab, and we're going to come down here and save this as a grid, and we're going to save this as a YouTube example. All right. So now we have that, but let's say we wanted to compare this against, say, the S&P 500. So we're going to go to Studies, we're going to Add a Study, and we're going to compare with, and I'm going to go up to a custom symbol and enter SPY because SPY is not in their drop downs. And you'll notice the purple line is the SPY using the same math. If you had the same amount of money 
that you had here invested in SPY, you would actually be up here. It shows you what a bad stock picker I am. It's almost $500 more had I just bought, used the same amount of money and got the SPY. So, uh, because we don't want to have to continue add this compare thing, we're going to go here and we're going to save grid as. And we're just going to overwrite our YouTube example. Overwrite that. And now I'm going to go up here. Excuse me. It's over here. I'm going to reset this thing. And I'm going to come back here. And I'm going to open up my YouTube example. And you'll notice it opened right back up. Now. If you wanted just the one chart, you want to track just this, you didn't care about this part over here, you just redo it, set you up a single single chart here, and uh, just enter in your math operators again, and just go here and save grid as, as, what, as whatever name you want to name it at, so you can have your actual stocks, but if you want both of them, you just do what I just showed you. And really, that is all there is to it. Uh, one more, one more thing. If you wanted to, let's go here. Open up the YouTube example. And if you wanted to remove a study or change a study or whatever, you could go here, remove all studies. And then you could go back and you could add another study. Uh, add study. You come down here. They got all these predetermined ones, but you could do the QQQ or or the SPX or you know whatever you can just add your studies or any of these things up here that's pre uh, pre made for you but if you wanted to get it back you would go back here and just boom and you got it right back so that's all there is to it this has helped you how about leaving a like subscribe leave a comment let the uh, bots the algorithms find this channel I'd appreciate it you have a good day